Okay, Miss Janina is going to bring us her second ever yeah. I used to do them here. So it's probably not number two. But, but I got to find a new place on the agenda because I keep coming after these great slides of, you know, splash parks and of, <laughs> of neighborhood stuff. Well, you've got good news, don't you? I, yes, I have good news. Okay. Well, eventually we'll have a wastewater report. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy to follow that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, to, uh, tonight's report summarizes the financial activity through the month of May. We're now eight months through fiscal year 2013, or 67% of the way through the fiscal year. At the end of May, the fund balance for the debt service fund continued to increase due to timing of debt service payments. And year to date, the general fund fund balance is still positive, however, due to the normal cycle of collections and, sp and year-round spending, fund balance is slightly smaller than last month. Increases are also reflected in the EDC and CCPD uh, funds due to strong sales tax collections. The car rental fund balance decreased from last month. Although there were stronger collections, you will see, fund balance is still negative year-to-date because of the planned funding of approved capital projects at the beginning of the fiscal year. In the proprietary funds, the planned funding of capital projects resulted in decline in fund balance in the water and wastewater fund and the drainage fund year today, but are still up from last month. The Texas Star Sports Complex has reported an increase in fund balance for, for the year, but is down compared to last month, while the golf course has realized an increase year today in compared to last month. Most of the other proprietary funds experienced relatively minor increases or decreases in fund balance at the end of the month. In the internal service funds, equipment replacement decreased due to the purchase of several vehicles earlier in the year, offset by monthly collections to, from the various cost centers. The risk fund has also decreased year to date due to payments from the annual premium for property liability workers' comp insurance co coverage. The health insurance fund is fund balance is now starting to show a decline as planned in the original budget, and overall. We began the year with $36.6 million in the operating funds, and at the end of May, we have a combined fund balance of almost $42 million. The capital projects funds combined fund balance is down from where we began the year and has continued to decrease since last month due to expenditures paid on the projects that are currently underway. And as these projects progress through the year, you'll continue to see this balance decrease. On the consolidated statement of revenues and expenditures, Several revenue categories are exceeding the prior year, as well as the current year budget. Property and sales taxes, licenses and permits, and charges for services fall on this group, while gross receipt taxes continue to fall below both prior year and budgeted expectations. At the end of May, excluding the bond refunding, funding, operating revenues were at $1.7 million ahead of the budget and $3.3 million over prior year for the same reporting period. Overall, operating expenses at the end of May, excluding the bond, refund, bond refunding, totaled $57.9 million, which is a, reflects a savings of 2%, or just over $1.1 million from budget, budgeted estimates, and the majority of the savings was realized in water purchases and capital expenditures. Turning to the individual funds, the general fund has collected revenues of $24.8 million, which is approximately 76.8% of the budget. As mentioned previously, property tax collections are ahead of both prior year actuals as well as current year budget. Sales tax collections have been very strong, exceeding prior year in every month for the fiscal year until May. For fiscal year to date, they're still exceeding both prior year, but prior year and budgeted amounts. In your detail, we gave you the most recent uh, data, including June collections, which were up compared to last year by the, for the same period by 11.5%. So year-to-date collections are very strong, up 10.6% for year-to-date. Municipal court revenues vary from month to month uh, based on case volume and timing of payments as reflected in this chart. Year-to-date revenues are currently exceeding prior year, but fall short of budget expectations through May. We've got development revenue, also varies on a monthly basis depending on the level of the development activity. While we saw this spike in February, March fell below the prior fis two fiscal years and April remained lower than last fiscal year. However, May collections 
were once again up and over prior to fiscal years. Year to date, this revenue category is surpassing both the prior year and budgeted levels. General fund expenditures through May are at 20.3 million or 59.5% of the appropriated budget. With the exception of November, our rental receipts have also realized an increase every month as compared to prior years. Fiscal year to date, this revenue service is outpacing both the prior fiscal year and the budget. The June data shows this um, trend upwards to continue at an increase of 7% compared to last month for the same period. The Water and Sewer Fund has collected $11.6 million fiscal year to date, which represents 59.5% of their budget. Expenses through the end of May total $12.1 million, or 57.6% of the budget. As of May, the golf course is 689 rounds below budget and is running about 49 less than, than last year. And the average rounds is slightly under budget but continues to be ahead of the prior year. These variances have resulted in an overall shortfall in, fall in golf revenues of $5,000. However, when combined with the increase in food and beverage, the revenues increased by $10,000 year to date. Operating expenses through the end of May exceed budget by $84,000. This facility has a net operating income of $541,000, which is about $74,000 less than anticipated for this point during the year. After factoring in debt and capital expenses, there is a net loss of $51,000 currently for this facility. Year to date revenues at Texas Star Sports Complex, which includes both Softball World and the parks at Texas Star, exceed anticipated revenues collections by $73,000 through May, and the expenses at the complex were over budgeted expectations by $107,000, which leaves this facility with an operating in net income of $129,000. After factoring in debt and capital, this operation has net income of $20,000, which is about $34,000 less than budgeted expectations. This is the main summary report. If you've got any questions. Our investment portfolio, I assume, since our interest rates are going up, that our investment portfolio will increase. Is that a good assumption? It is a probably a very smart assumption, yes. I haven't seen it occur yet on the overnights, but hopefully it will be getting there soon. Okay. Thank you. Curious how that plays out. Thank you for highlighting it as you talk about it. My little fireworks starting up a little bit. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs>